We're doing landing gear ops checks. The airplane's just about ready to fly, and I have uh, the nose jacked up on a, a uh, simple horse, which there's virtually no weight there, so it doesn't bear much. The mains are set up on on regular uh, tripod jacks, and they're mounted right at the basically where the spar is. All right, now the uh, the way this gear works, we're using a uh, a PLC, a programmable logic computer. Um, I did this last spring. It's a really intense project that was a lot of fun. Uh, John McAvoy, aka Waiter, this is more or less his design, where uh, I enhanced it a little bit. Well, I don't know if I enhanced it, but I definitely changed it. Um, first thing we're going to check is uh, basically the interface of the the system and how it works. That is the auxiliary manual operation of the gear in case the computer dies. You can operate the entire gear with these switches and I'll show you how. And this is the indicator that I built and made this last year. Uh, basically it uh, talks to the computer and also uses direct feeds from the certain switches on the gear itself. That way if the computer's down I still have indication. Um, the switches each gear has is the compression switch because the first thing that happens is the landing gear strut, the oleo itself, will compress, okay? And when it does, this switch is made, and there's one on the other side just like it, obviously, all right? And then once they're both made, then the uh, a, a, a sequencing valve will fire, and then it'll, it'll hit the uh, retract um, actuator and actuate the flow to that. And when the gear come up, there's another switch sensing that they're up, okay? So, um, and then when, of course, they come down, there's a reed switch in the drag brace here that senses that they're down. So there's basically three position switches in the gear. And also, there is um, a pair of pressure switches, one for up pressure, one for down pressure, that tells the computer how much hydraulic pressure is on the gear. So, um, more or less, when we're in the cockpit, if you, uh, if you throttle up and the canopy is open, there's canopy latch, <clears throat> okay, you're going to get a crazy loud warning, so sorry about this. All right, now the one you're seeing there is an analog setup. This one here is the computer talkback saying that um, there's an unsafe condition, all right? Um, obviously, you're seeing the uh, three green because all three gear are down and locked. All right, now the uh, PLC light is the programmable logic computer saying I have power to the computer. All right, and then the uh, the pump, which isn't running at the moment. Now, in order to manually use the gear, I have to arm it. When I go up, okay, nothing's happened because the actual circuit breaker for the computer is right here. It's a 10 amp breaker. When you pull that breaker, okay, now you're on manual control look on the panel, the PLC light is out now, but I still have three green because I am feeding them separately. Again, if the computer's down, I still have indications on the gear. If we come back to the computer, the computer is off. It's dead. So assuming the computer croaks, we still have this manual control. Now the other thing is breaker's in again. All right. Now with the master off, all right, it's off. So we lost main power. All right. If I arm this, I have a light again. So I don't have to pull the breaker, although it's irrelevant at this point, because there is no main power running through. I just used a, uh, a, a double pull, double throw breaker to, uh, to work that whole thing. So you can arm the manual either way. All right. With main power on, you have to pull the breaker, to pull the breaker to, the, uh, um, to the PLC in order for that to work. So now the logic itself, <coughs> again, We'll do this. Boom. Okay, now, with the gear, the airplane thinks it's on the ground. Throttle's closed. Canopy's open. All right, and the airspeed is less than 80 knots. All right, with the gear switch, at this point, the only thing that's going to happen is the nose, because the airplane thinks it's on the ground. All right? So that worked fine, putting the main gear down. You notice as the uh, nose gear is swinging, you get a red light, it's hard to see what it's pretty bright. It's 
really, these lights, I know they're really bright, so it's a little hard to see. So when the gear down and lock, you have a green. When they're in transit, they're red. When they're up, they'll be off, okay? So now, since the airplane thought it was on the ground, nothing else happened. All right, so now we're going to close the canopy, quit the throttle, past, it's really like three quarters of the way, all right? And we put the landing gear switch up, nothing happens, all right? Because it thinks we're trying to fly, but since our airspeed is indicated on the uh, PFD as zero, all right, uh, it's still saying, hey, there's a problem, all right? We're not ready to go. So when, in this case, I built in a switch to override. It's called the AS override, airspeed override. By pushing this switch, it's going to lie to the airplane and tell it we're, we're actually going 80 knots. And at that point, all three gears should retract. There we go. And there they go. Alright, the gear up. Alright, now, I, the nose doesn't retract. You have to actually hold the switch in for that to happen. But um, it's an emergency situation. So you can see the nose is still down and locked. Can we even see that? Yeah, but the mains, the lights are out. Now, when I bring the gear switch back down, you'll see the two mains go red while they're in transit. And then once they're down and locked, they go green. All right, now. Um, I have three green again. You notice maybe the pump light. You could certainly hear the pump. Now, the other thing with this system is now we're going to take this into total no kidding mode. <clears throat> there may be times where you need to ditch. So let's say the throttle's idle, all right? The canopy is open because I want to jump, you know, be, be ready to egress quickly. I'm going into a swamp or some rough terrain. And no matter what the logic of the system, I want the gear up. So right here on the panel, you flip this, emergency retract. And flip this, and all three gear will come up no matter what the logic conditions. All right. And through that whole process, I have an alarm saying that we're in like a screwy position. Now you can notice the. Uh, the uh, left main didn't come all the way up, and that's probably because the battery is mostly dead. I don't have enough juice, and it's um, it's a brand new tire, and there's very little clearance there. That's an issue that I'm dealing with. All right, so if I close this and I have the gear in the down position, here they come. Greens. Okay, the gear is down. I just went green. All right, now we'll test real quickly the alternate, okay? We go arm, we gotta pull the breaker, we've got a light. Okay, I can actuate the nose, up, down. Now, if you notice the, the box itself, it's under your left arm, and the reason it's there, excuse me, it's under your right arm, is because you can still fly the airplane, and you just literally reach under your, your arm to actuate this. Now you'll notice there are down arrows, and on the other side is an up arrow. Now each switch will actuate the gear in each direction. So basically, if I want to put the gear up, I basically use the, uh, it's hard to see, sorry about that. There's the up arrow. See the up arrow on the very far right? So that's how you start the process. You go up. Now, just so you know, the, uh, the, the yellow light is basically the strut valve, and the upside is the other green light going. Okay, you can hear when it starts to cavitate that the struts are retracted. And once they're there, I just flip the other way. And now only the retract actuator fires. You can hear it cavitate, you know it's up. All right. So, and then if I want to bring the gear down, because let's say we lost the computer in flight, it's the exact opposite. Here's the down switch, so you swing it down. All right, see I got three green. And now I can just extend the oleos.
So that's back to normal. And the ops check, that's a basically a gear ops check. Landing gear is um, mostly ready to go. I just have to fiddle around with the uh, that left main wheel. It's a little bit sticky. We'll take care of that next.